Hello and welcome to our next Reflection on the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Today we talk about the Third Commandment. The scripture says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you, will, you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. In it you shall not do any work. The story of the Sabbath brings us back uh, to a number of stories in the Old Testament. First of all, to the story of creation. God created the heavens, the earth, and everything that exists in six days. On the seventh, he rested. He is showing us what the rhythm of life ought to look like for us as well. We have to work uh, to support ourselves, to support our families, uh, to support others. And in that work, uh, we cooperate with God's work of creation. But we also need that time uh, to sanctify ourselves and everything around us. That time where we recognize uh, that God has created us, where we can actually give thanks to God for all that we have. Uh, the story of the Sabbath links us back also to the great story of Israel's liberation from slavery. And so the Sabbath is to be kept as a sign of the covenant, uh, that great covenant established between God and us to remember that we have been set free from sin, from the land of slavery. We are set free, we are to enjoy freedom of the children of God. And so the Sabbath is about recognizing what God has done for us. It's about giving God thanks. And so it's also a protest against a servitude of work and worship of money. These are the words of the Catechism. It's a reminder of where our real values and how they should be set up within ourselves. Uh, the first focal point of our life, the center of our life, needs to be God. And that's the purpose of the Sabbath day. Remember that all you have all you enjoy, comes to you as a gift. So use this day to stop pursuing things uh, that cannot give you happiness, that cannot give you peace. Remember that all you need comes from me. Set time apart for me. That's the point of the Sabbath. The Lord's Day that we celebrate as Christians is different from the Sabbath. Just as our Lord came to fulfill the law, uh, to give a fuller interpretation and a new interpretation of the law, to reveal to us its full meaning, uh, so does the Lord's Day uh, does the same for the Sabbath. The Lord's Day, the day of the resurrection, Sunday, the day of the sun, uh, fulfills the meaning and the purpose of the Sabbath. Because as Christians we celebrate the day on which we have been truly set free from sin through Jesus' resurrection. His entry into new life is our entry into new life. That is what we are celebrating. And so the celebration of Sunday observes the moral commandment uh, that has been inscribed by na nature in the human heart to render to God an outward, visible, public and regular worship. That's the statement of the Catechism. Uh, that God needs to be acknowledged publicly, regularly, worshipped and given thanks for. Uh, and so the reason why Christians go to church on a Sunday, why we as Catholics go to church on a Sunday, the reason why we need to teach our children why we want to go 
uh, is a very simple one to give thanks to cultivate within ourselves that spirit of thanksgiving uh, because we are recipients of so many gifts and graces and blessings continuously from God and God requires us and is asking of us come to me give me thanks so that your hearts will be even more open uh, to receive even more and I will give you more and so the Sunday Eucharist is at the heart of the church's life it's a holy day of obligation uh, and when you think about it in terms of thanksgiving uh, we shouldn't really look at it as a holy day of obligation it should be a natural response to give thanks for all that we have we shouldn't come feeling forced that we have to because we're obliged to. Uh, we come because we want to. We want to be thankful. Uh, and we want to be filled with that spirit of thankfulness in our daily life. That's why we come. That's why we come together as a community and to celebrate the day of the resurrection. And for those of you who might say, well, but I stay at home, I can pray at home. I don't need to come to church. Well, St. John Chrysostom, and he's quoted in the Catechism, simply says, you cannot pray at home as at church. There is a different experience to it, uh, as we probably realize and find out during this time of lockdown, where, yes, we have masses online, we can take part in prayers online, uh, but it's different. Uh, it's different when the community comes together. It's different when we sing together, when we respond together, when we can meet each other later, we can share with one another later. Uh, it's all different. Uh, and so we do this, uh, not simply as an obligation, but because we want to. It's about giving thanks. Uh, and so that obligation is really a foundation and confirmation of all our Christian practice. That coming to church on a Sunday uh, is the foundation of our Christian life. Because of what takes place during this celebration, we give thanks and we are fed and strengthened for the week ahead. And so Sunday is meant to be a day, a day of grace and rest from work. Essentially, to try to refrain from anything that prevents me from worshipping God. So, it's a time of also of connecting with your family. Maybe giving them more time. So, spend time with one another. Uh, but it's also a time for reflection. For a bit more silence. Uh, because during the week we are busy. We work, we do things. Uh, we do all these things to survive, to thrive, uh, to have enough money to look after ourselves and our loved ones. Uh, but that day, uh, we need to think back and connect with God who gives us all these things, who is the source of everything that we have. And so, more time for prayer, more time for meditation and reflection. So it's a common effort uh, on the part of all Christians to give a public witness, a public example of prayer and respect uh, and joy of being in the presence of God, of having all these gifts from him. And that's our contribution uh, to, so to society at large as well, to remind others uh, where all these good things that we enjoy come from? Who has granted those gifts to us? So keep the day holy. It's not about not doing any work. Some of us have to do work to look after others, to ensure that others have enough on that day. But do good. Remember what the Lord has taught us. Uh, the Lord, the Sabbath is for doing good for doing works of mercy, for raising uh, those who are downcast, 
for consoling, for strengthening and healing the sick. Essentially, do life-giving work. But find time, find a little space for yourself that day uh, to thank God for this gift of the resurrection, of this gift of new life. God bless.